Atroscopic Papidiosis Resection The MRI of 46 years old male showed large papidiosis behind his left knee. After spinal anesthesia was done, we start with the aspiration of the cyst, then injection of the methylene blue dye to the cyst was done. Routine atroscopic examination of knee joint was performed through the standard antelolateral portal with 30 degree atroscopy. The scope was redirected between PCL and medial femoral condyle to make standard posteromedial portal. Of course, before do this, we treat the underlying intraarticular pathology, usually degenerative meniscal tear or cartilage lesion. The needle is used to locate the position of postural medial portal. Dilate the portal with switching rod, and then the motorized chamber is inserted. You can see the postural medial fold that create the valve mechanism to which the papetiosis has formed. The capsular fold was resected partially by inserting the basket forceps to the postural medial portal. After remove the fold, you will see the fluid in the cyst coming out. And trans to the papetial cyst. Arthroscope was then advanced into the papetial cyst through the opening, which was postromedial to the medial head of gastrocnemius. Inside the papetial cyst, you can see the fibrous membrane, nodules, and many septa. By trans illumination technique, papetial neurovascular injury is avoided. The posterior portal is created by inside out technique. A shaver is then introduced to the posterior portal to shave out the wall of the cyst. In conclusion of this procedure, we already resect the valve and leave it open. To create the bidirectional flow, the result is spontaneous reabsorption of the fluid. And we already shave the posterior capsule. This will enhance the regeneration of normal capsule. This is the reason why there is no recurrence of the puppeteosis in our patient.